Where we at uh, right now is a display of the, uh, the local Medal of Honor recipients in the Rymersburg area. We have Donald O. Lowball, we have Ross McGinnis, who gave his life in, in the Persian Gulf War, and this one over here is Jeremiah Brown, Medal of Honor recipient of the Civil War. The story of his uh, receiving the Civil War is on that on the frame back there. He received orders that he was supposed to take a battery. <clears throat> he and a hundred other men. Well, they took the battery and they were told, if you take the battery, we'll send you reinforcements. Well, they took the battery and the reinforcements never came. The next day, Jeremiah Brown asked the question, how come we didn't get our reinforcements? And he was told, we didn't think you'd be capable of taking that battery. Can you get a close up of that? I get that here later. Okay. okay. An interesting story on this. This is the American bald eagle, setting on the family plot of the Brown family. There was a man driving by the cemetery one day. He saw the eagle setting on on the family plot, stone, and he had a he had a phone, but it was one of the very few, or one of the very first, that didn't have camera. So he calls his wife, who lived in New Bethlehem, come to the Squirrel Hill Cemetery as quick as you can. I want a picture of this eagle setting on the on the on the stone. Well, she jumps in her car drives to the Squirrel Hill Cemetery, which would have been probably a 12 to 15 minute drive, and that eagle sat there until she got there and took his picture. I always tell the people, I wrote the caption on the photograph, and I was going to ask the question, was this coincidental or was this providential? I couldn't spell coincidental, I couldn't spell providential, so I had to, to re revamp my... This is the, uh, the 148th Pennsylvania Volunteers, who Jeremiah Brown was the commander. They fought at Petersburg, where he received the Medal of Honor. They fought at Gettysburg, in the wheat field, with n numerous casualties. Uh, he, he received the Medal of Honor probably 30 years after the Battle of Gettysburg. Here's an interesting item right here. Ross A. McGinnis. This is Ross. Gave his life in the Persian Gulf, in Iraq. And his mother put together for us a history, the life story of Ross McGinnis. Medal of Honor winner, Silver Star recipient, Purple Hearts recipient. This book is on loan. All his entire life, Ross McGinnis wanted to be a soldier. He, in the first grade, his teacher asked him, tell me what you want me to do whenever you grow up. And Ross blew a picture of a soldier, and it reads, when I grow up, the job I want to do is an army man. Ross got his wish. He became an army man and gave his life for his country.